and welcome back to my channel. Welcome from Seville. I have what? Seville. Seville. Oh, <laughs> oh God, I can't remember. That would be like V E A L. Seville. Sevilla. We are in sunny Seville. It's actually pretty warm. We kind of packed, we were unsure because it says like 20, 21 degrees um, into the next couple of days that we're here up to like 24, 25. Oh God, oh God, look at your hair in my mouth. So yeah, we packed for kind of like summer, I would say like spring UK weather, haven't we? Spring, summer UK weather. We've got, um, yeah comfy clothes I've also got like jeans t-shirt type outfit I traveled in my pretty lavish co-ord yeah it's nice temperature for exploring we basically got up this morning at like 4 a.m so super early start I'm absolutely knackered on like three hours sleep I didn't sleep very well last night either but yeah we pretty much have the rest of today and then we are going to have all day here tomorrow exploring out and about today's more like just getting our bearings and then on Saturday we've got all day up until about 5 30 before well I suppose we go to the airport a couple of hours before that so yeah a nice two and a half to three day trip here in Seville and it's a for Tommy's birthday little birthday trip we'll show you around the places that we go and then any questions obviously by the time you're watching this we'll be back home so just pop them in the comments below I'm happy to answer them I'll probably do a TikTok as well of more in detail of like maybe the food places that we go to before we go and explore I'll give you a bit of a room tour of like where we're staying this is our room it's the name of the hotel that we're staying at the MA Cathedral Hotel Merce We've got some little toiletry bits here, little sink and vanity station. We did have a happy birthday message, but Tom's just eaten into it. We've got shower, open shower, so a little risque, toilet through there. Our luggage, which has all been brought up for us. And yeah, nice spacious area. There he is, lying horizontal. But it is lovely. I love like the wall, the texture. It's like a... Would you say this is stuck up or just like exposed plaster? Yeah, I'm not quite sure. But yeah, it's nice, nice and textured with the linens and the blacks. Love it. We've got a bit of a balcony. Let's open it up. The hustle and bustle down there. said how do you find your way around this it is a maze but the good thing is because we're staying right by the, the cathedral if we do get lost we just ask for the direction of the cathedral um but yeah what do you think of it so far unbelievable, unbelievable. it is i was meant to put my makeup on at the airport and i've decided i'm just gonna go makeup free today why not what did you say we've only had We've learnt to only order one tapas. Oh yeah, the tapas dishes are actually huge. Do you know what though? I was watching someone's vlog and they did the same. They ordered about, between the two of them, about seven tapas dishes. After being delivered two, they were like, oh gosh. This city as well smells incredible. They've got all these gorgeous orange trees and honestly, they make everything smell beautiful. I'm saying the decor and everything, like look in there, very Moroccan inspired. Even just walking down these little side streets and things, it's feeling very, ooh, a bit of a gale there. Very, like being back in Marrakesh. The hustle and bustle, small streets like this, and the interiors and the architecture as well, very similar to, like you can see that it's close to Africa. <laughs> We've just been to what was it called? Al Rincon. Al. I think it's called Rincon. Isn't it? Rincon or something. It's somewhere where Tom's seen. He's a Rick Stein fan, and it was good, wasn't it? It was hustle and bustle, busy in there. But I think 
Gracias. Well, no, the ham was nice. Oh, yeah. Uh, we had some of the ham and then we had like a beef dish, which we've just had a pork dish as well, so it was a bit heavy. But at least it was smaller. Because that is one thing I've noticed, and I've said it earlier, but tapas. Oh, look, golden center. I've missed Barney. I think tonight we're going to go to the Setas to see when it's lit up. But for now, we are right next to it. So we're just going to see it during the day as well before it gets a bit darker. And then, yeah, tomorrow we've got a day of exploring. We've got the cathedral to go and see, the plaza, the... I can't remember what it's called. Plaza de España, something. Um, flamenco Museum. So yeah, we're just, I'm tired. Tom's all right. You said you've got a little bit of achy legs. You're like, I want to chill one. And he's like, ready to party. I'm not. I'm never one for partying. So I think we're going to freshen up at the hotel, have a bit of a breather. And then, uh, yeah, come back here this evening once it's all lit up. We made it. So this is, I'll pop a name on screen of where it is because I don't want to get it wrong. But this is where we'll come back at night and see it lit up. I don't know whether we're better off maybe getting a ticket though to see it lit up from in the sky. So this market that we've come into, it's literally right by the Setas de Sevilla. And we're just coming for a little bit of a mooch. I'm also on the floof hunt. I've been spotting lots of pooches. I feel like it's a very dog friendly city. There's a lot of dogs we've seen. We saw one just like Marty. Little golden like a dark golden colour as well just like him and pulling on the lead so just as naughty <laughs> this is what it co is called where we are Mercado de la Encarnacion camera's going crazy we are in the lift we've got our tickets and it's actually 48 hours you've got to use it twice which is good so we'll probably come back either tonight or tomorrow night to see it with the lights but we thought whilst we're here we might as well see it during the day have a look at views of the city and yes it was 15 euros each We are back in the room having had a bit of an explore. I've just got the balcony open, just letting in some fresh air and the kind of white noise of the hustle and bustle downstairs. But yeah, we are just sitting back, relaxing for a sec before heading out again later on this afternoon evening for yet more food, more exploring. We are probably gonna have an earlier night tonight to be able to start a fresh tomorrow after hopefully a good night's sleep and get on with some exploring. I really can't wait to see inside the cathedral. So we're gonna have a look at booking tickets for that so we don't have to queue. We'll see what it's like in the morning. And then um, also the plaza. You can even see it by boat. See a little flamenco show there. Maybe you can go to the museum, flamenco museum. Where else was there on our list of places we want to go? Alcaraz or something it was called, I can't remember. There's a couple of like gardens that look really beautiful. So yeah, lots of exploring to do tomorrow. So hence why I'm thinking, get back and just sleep tonight. <laughs> do you just forget sometimes? <laughs> I'm leaving that in. <laughs> oh gosh. So yeah, we're just gonna have a chill for having a bit of a refresh and heading out for some more food and an explore tonight.
we have just had the best chocolate and churros. What a lovely dessert to end our tapas fueling today. Um, but we're back at the oh gosh, Setas de Sevilla. You might be able to tell behind me. But yeah, we are back here for sunset. It's now nearly 7:30. Big queue to get up and see the lights from above. Um, but yeah, we'll see if we can get in. <laughs> You're rushing me down. It'll be fine. It goes on till midnight. <laughs> no, that's true. Ooh, we've got our tickets. just leaving the light show we've been here so it starts at 7 30 and it's now 10 past 8 he's been on his phone the whole time I am not at all that's a lie <laughs> I was like come on we've seen it now um I'm very much like that and I'm like once I've seen it I'm like I've seen it now um yeah, it takes half an hour to get going. So I will say that don't expect it to start at 7.30. But it's quite nice to time it for sunset. I will say that. Yeah, back to the hotel. Day one. Complete. Good morning. We're just getting ready for the day. Look at what outfit I've pulled out. Blue shirt, white t-shirt. Some nice cream jeans. And then I come to the bed and see what Tom's pulled out to wear. <laughs> cream trousers and a blue shirt. So... I would have gone out. Tom says, no, 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 absolutely not. So I am just going to take off my shirt. I might pop that on later and get changed, but I am just going to go with this blazer from Zara. It's like a khaki green. But yeah, I thought that was so funny. <laughs> we can be matching. Yeah, otherwise, this is my little outfit of the day. I'm just going to spritz a little bit. In fact, I might take a hair clip with me. This is my perfume of the holiday. Just the one that I've brought with me. My Jo Malone Basil and Neroli, which is nice and sweet. Spring, summer like, and my holiday scent. And then, um, yeah, I might take this little clip with me, which is from Primark. And also, if I can find it, my hair and little spritz of the Living Proof uh, Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. And then, <laughs> sunglasses on head, and we're good. To go we're gonna head to a market this morning to get some breakfast it's quite early but we wanted to get out and get exploring and this market is like the first thing that opens so we thought we could go there for like coffee and breakfast see what they've got i think it's like a food market but maybe with a few stalls it's the triana market it's called so it's about a 15 minute walk from our hotel honestly everything is like a 15 minute walk from our hotel it's brilliant very very central location however having said that Last night was very, well, I say very loud. I had, I brought earplugs with me, thank goodness. And even I could hear like people down, I mean, we are right by the cathedral. So there are like loads of bars and restaurants and stuff. It's one of those things that we could say, oh, can we move room? But there's a good chance that it'll be the same. And also it's a lovely room. I'm really here for one more night. So yeah, I will say that is quite loud. So bring earplugs. It is a beautiful sunny morning. It says it's cloudy today, but look at these skies. The sun on this cathedral is honestly stunning. They're actually setting up for some kind of festival or parade or something next week. We booked tickets to go in here later on this afternoon. We are heading to first and foremost the markets. So it's the opposite direction we thought it was. So we're just turning around heading back but honestly guys staying at this hotel is worth it just for that view isn't it yeah. it's worth the noise <laughs> honestly and i'm like a light sleeper and that's the sort of thing that would bug me but to be in such a central location with these trees that smell beautiful you wanted to nab an orange yesterday didn't you but a bit too high <laughs> and also we were like is that frowned upon just taking an orange picking an orange from one of these trees i can see them all above me now can you see them? I feel like my basil and neroli perfume from Jo Malone is like the perfect scent for here because it is that neroli, orange, citrusy smell literally just walking around the city. It's beautiful. 
Let's check out Starbucks for a morning decaf coffee. Tom's gonna get one at the market, but I am not confident that I'll have decaf, so. Yeah, having a little pit stop. It's so fun seeing all the different foods though. <laughs> Starbucks do. I feel like people want to know where your outfit's from. My outfit. Yeah, do a little outfit of the day. Hey, we're still matching with the green anyway. What are you wearing? Drakes, Drakes, Drakes. I got these shirts made for me from. And the jumper and the trainers? Uniqlo, New Balance. And your underwear? <laughs> A day's march. A day's march. There you go, there's his outfit of the day. <laughs> and I'm just wearing, you kind of saw earlier, t shirt and jeans are from Primark. I've got my Arizona Birkenstocks on, which we're going to find some in this colour for Tom. So I think they're a really nice colour. Uh, my blazer from Zara, Ana Luisa jewellery, Gucci sunglasses, Starbucks in hand. I don't know it looks like it may be a hotel or something we're just above the river and it is stunning there's so many people doing rowing here as well um, honestly such a gorgeous city we were comparing it to Barcelona because we've been there before and we were saying it's so different even though they're both Spanish cities I let more people rowing and um, this is it feels like cleaner um, flatter. Remember, remember walking up that hill to go and see the park well in Barcelona. Oh, it's a struggle. But um, yeah, it's just beautiful. I prefer this to Barcelona. I it's, think. Well, it's just got a lot. It's a lot <clears throat> smaller. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, we've obviously got all day today and tomorrow. I'm going home tomorrow evening, and I'll have feel like I've done everything. It is quite a small city. I think two to three days is enough here. But you're coming to sites and you could just come Yeah, in. you could just come and chill, but I'm not. I just like to see see the sites and then I feel like I've seen the city now, so I want to go to another city. There's so many in the world. I'm not one for going back to the same place. But anyway, we are just approaching the market now. Oh, here it is, tell me. Yeah, Mercado de Triana. Very quiet. I think they just have slower mornings here, don't they? Look at this huge ship, proper pirate ship. There is a hotel just here that looks beautiful, Alfonso. Good location as well. We've got our audio guides. We've just stumbled across this beautiful church. So we've just paid to get in here. It was 12 euros. Oh, look at the artwork as well. It's like a museum that they've got in here. Just have a little wander around. So we thought we would pay to have a look. Look at these orange trees. <gasps> Thriving. Honestly, guys, it smells so nice. Quite a lot of ceramics shops where you can purchase these sort of tiles. Um, if that was like your interior decor. Or even just getting inspo from it. Um, anyway. Says the best view to get this is from lying on the floor. <laughs> I'm not going to, but tell me. It's like a 3D artwork, it's amazing. We are just on the hunt for the Plaza de España now. I think we're gonna go sit, enjoy the views. We've got an hour or two before we need to head back to the cathedral where we've booked our tickets to go up the bell tower and have an explore there. Oh, I thought it was this side. So that's what we're on the hunt for now. Um, it's starting to brighten up a bit as well, actually. Oh yeah, I keep saying to him, I want, I want a garden to walk through. I want some greenery. Um, 
so yeah that's next on our agenda maybe grab a bite to eat and sit out as well just enjoy this weather whilst we've got it because we'll be back back to blighty tomorrow tomorrow night um so enjoy the warmth spots we've got it and this is where we are yay a park <laughs> greenery <laughs> oh love it there's just something about nature for me i am realizing more and more that i am a natural country girl and he's a city boy aren't you just a city tom likes boy. to sit in the hustle and bustle and just sit and people watch whereas i'm like no get me to nature this. Yeah, we nabbed one. We found one and it smells. How good does it smell? Oh, so I know I keep going on about the smell of these blooming orange trees, but look, there's more of them here. These are all oli olive. <laughs> I keep saying olive trees. Orange trees. But anyway, let's head to the plaza de España. I have seen as well online that sometimes you catch like flamenco shows in the middle. Um, if not, we could maybe go and try and find one tonight. We'll go to the Flamenco Museum this afternoon after the cathedral. See if they've got a show on. Yeah, just a little update from me to you. We've made it. And you can actually, I'm not saying we should, but you can get a boat trip round. Tom thinks these are turkeys. I keep telling them there are more species of duck than just our standard mallards. And this gorgeous wisteria we've been admiring over the city, just about in full blue. hotel so that lovely looking swimming pool there is on the top of our hotel and then you won't be able to see in the distance the set us where we went last night the wooden sculpture this camera doesn't zoom in very far switch to the phone so I can zoom in a bit better but there's our hotel the swimming pool and the set us is over there that was where we had like the light show last night. Uh, oh, it's on the hour. Actually, not on the hour. It's half past two. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, what would it be for two? Two. I think. Oh, it's two thirty anyway. As the dentist would say. Jesus. 
I have to admit, climbing it though, if you're unsure, it's a slope, it's not steps, and it's about 29, was it, stories? Um, 32, apparently, but it was fairly straightforward. Maybe in the heat it would be more of a challenge, but it was okay. It wasn't out of breath, let's just say that. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love. Cleanse me from my sin. We are out exploring this evening, having what well, the plan is to try a few different tapas places. So we're going to go to one for what's that? What's it called? Tart tortilla. Tortilla and a couple of others as well for anything specific or just for tapas in no, general these other two are like really well rated, just well rated it's quite late for us already having dinner at eight o'clock no <laughs> for us it is quite late eight o'clock to be eating dinner that's late for us okay Although it's seven o'clock uk time <laughs> Don't pretend like we're party animals. I know, I, I okay, party well, to animal. be fair, you did say that you do a holiday very differently if it's with the boys. Oh, yeah. But you said you were happy doing the holiday that we're doing together. Yeah, you've got, you got a bit of both. A bit of both, okay. Well, I'll take you, that. You do it. take it to the eighth, like, so. The grandma level. Yeah. <laughs> Someone with the guys, I've got to go full. So you've got to go all out when you're with the, with the lads. Heroin. Tom, he's joking, obviously. <sighs> Good morning from sunny Seville. Oh, honestly guys, this weather has been perfect for us. We are, I'm just out on the balcony. It's a little bit loud out here. We are just about packing up the room, ready to check out in an hour. Um, we just spent this morning, honestly, just outside of the hotel, in front of the cathedral, just sat, I feel like I've caught the sun a bit. Um, just sat with the views of the cathedral i'm looking out now not a cloud in the sky today absolutely beautiful i think it's getting to 25 26 today so i might even pop on some shorts because we're not flying until we have to leave the airport in like five hours four or five hours so we've got a bit of time to explore i think we want to go back to the plaza de españa because we went there as you saw yesterday but only spent really um an hour or two there not even that maximum an hour um so the plan is to maybe head back there we're gonna check out first because we have to check out within the hour so we'll check out so we don't have to rush back to do that then head over to um there we've had some breakfast little pastries and croissants whilst looking at the cathedral this morning watching the world go by watching Seville go by and it was very quiet that's one thing that I will say that we've noticed here is that everything's very slow in the mornings but we're quite early risers so um yeah we got up and went out about half eight ish and it's just so quiet so a couple of little cafes open to grab I grabbed a Starbucks because places don't seem to have mint tea here or ginger tea or anything and uh, I fancied a tea this morning so I had that Tom got coffee and we got croissant pastries, just sat and watched the cathedral, honestly beautiful. And then, yeah, we're gonna pack up, leave our bags here. There's a taxi rank right outside our hotel, so the plan is to just, when we need to go to the airport, we'll just come grab our bags from here and then jump straight in the cab and head back. So yeah, I feel like this, with us only having sort of the four or five hours, four, really four and a half hours left one hour of that is packing up and getting ready for the day um i feel like we're just probably not going to be doing too much that we haven't already vlogged so i am going to close off the vlog here i wanted to thank each and every one of you for watching hope you have enjoyed my little travel content would say seville is definitely a must 
visit place. I'm so glad we've come. I it wasn't even on my radar until Tom mentioned it for his birthday, which is today. And um, I said, okay, yeah, let's get that booked for a few days. And I'm so glad I have. It's beautiful. I will also be uploading some TikToks and Reels on Instagram, probably more so on TikTok though, of um, like the foodie places that we've been, the rating that we would give them, the affordability and all of that kind of stuff because we have discovered some absolute gems in terms of food. So I will share all of those over on my TikTok, uh, which is just for Farrington, if you wanted to see those recommendations. Otherwise, any other questions about anything, feel free to message me on Instagram. I will get back to you. I have a Instagram highlight reel of Seville where you can see all the places that we've been and refer back to that as and when you decide to maybe book a trip here yourself. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thumbs up if you have enjoyed it. Subscribe for more and I will hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.